can lie down, knees bent, feet on the mat. Just check in with your breath. Noticing each in-breath and each out-breath. Notice where you feel the breath in your body. Maybe the belly, maybe the rib cage, maybe coming in and out of your nostrils. All good. Just noticing, bringing awareness. And bring your attention now to the hip crease, right where you fold, the hip crease area. And just with your imagination, think about that area softening a little bit. Imagine a little extra space. And breathe into that area as if you could direct your breath right into the hip crease. Take your feet a little wider than your hips and take your arms out into a T. As you drop the knees right, turn your head left. And then come back to center. Knees go left as your head turns right. Now you probably feel the space in the hip crease when the knees drop to one side creates a stretch, perhaps down the thigh as well. And it adds a nice little twist or rotation in your spine and your neck, part of your spine. Take one more, rolling side to side. And you can have your eyes open or closed. I'll often close my eyes so I remind myself to keep the attention inside, inward. And when you come back to center, you're gonna hug your knees in toward your chest, hug your legs in. So notice I could hug them in really tight, but I'd like to think again about the space in the hip crease. So, I'm gonna go as long as my arms are. That's the distance from my body. And gently rock side to side. And it's very small, gentle rocking. Whatever you're doing is enough. In fact, you can give yourself permission to do less. Notice that your shoulders and your face stay relaxed. And we'll rock a couple more times side to side, keeping and feeling a little bit of space in the hip crease. And come back to center, release the feet. And again, we notice this area. So we've breathed space into it. We have actually stretched a little space into it. And now we're going to do a little strengthening, a little active work for this area because it also needs that. It needs stretch and strength. So we'll start by taking the right leg out and you can keep your left leg bent. You're gonna lift the right leg and take it off to the side and then lift and come back. Notice that the butt and the hip will work and also the front of the leg and perhaps you feel work in this area of the hip crease. Taking a few more lifting, going out to the side and then coming back. 
Allow your shoulders and your jaw to relax. They want to help. They don't need your, they don't need to help right now. You have plenty of strength in your legs. And let's do one more. And then bend the knee. So I'm gonna give a choice on this side. You can keep the right leg bent or you can uh, straighten the right leg this time. So if we did it like the first side, we would keep the right leg bent and the left leg would go out to the side and come back. You can also experiment with straight legs. So you'll have two ways to do this when you're practicing. Noticing the difference between sides. Maybe one side likes it more than the other side. Notice your peaceful breath, even though there's work happening. The leg lifts, goes out to the side, and then lifts and comes back. And we'll do two more. back and this time just leave the legs straight completely release the legs softness from the hip crease down through the thighs through the calves through the feet let your body rest some awareness of our hip flexors today stretching them and encouraging some strength there as well Rest as long as you'd like here. Namaste.